Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, what is this? I feel like somebody, hmm, somebody's thinking about um, your abundance. Someone's thinking about uh, your success. You could be a boss, a business owner. Um, they're thinking about your financial stability. They're seeing that you're, um, some, you could have recently gotten a pay raise or something like that. They're having a lot of anxiety over this, okay? Um, they can't seem to stop thinking about you. They can't get you off of their mind. You could be dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you have leveled up. Oh, see? Oh, yeah. It's because this person has a lot of financial issues, and you're out here doing good, receiving all of this money. Um, so something about your pay has been bumped up, or it will, okay? I feel like you're already sitting pretty in the Queen of Pentacles throne. So you have some kind of financial stability here. You could even be doing something in the public eye um, that's really brought you to a lot of success. Um, yeah, you're, you're on a solid platform here. Very well balanced. So your money's looking good. You're looking good. You're over this person. You're leaving them behind. They're super stressed out. Um, they're, I feel like they're jealous of you, okay? Because you've got all of this money and now they're absolutely broke. Like, um, they only have two pentacles. And you've got all of these, okay? Six pentacles, seven pentacles, and growing, okay? Um, you're doing way better financially than this person. I feel like, you know what? Ooh, collective, look! Look at you go. You know what? You've been working on something. You've spent a lot of time working on. Maybe it was something that you were very passionate about, okay? Something that you enjoy. You were nurturing something here into a huge success. It's all paying off for you now. Look at all of this money coming to you. If you haven't seen this yet, you will. The seeds that you've planted and the effort that you've put into something here, it is about to pay off. Look at this pile of money. You go from the, usually, you know, I see the seven of pentacles person. This is somebody who um, is very patient, is working really hard on growing something, okay? Um, some, most of the time, this is somebody who's been very underestimated. This person here from your past, they could have thought that your creative idea was crazy. And now it's a huge success. See, usually I see the seven of pentacles person flipping into the nine of pentacles, which is the empress in the minor arcana. But you jump from the seven of pentacles straight into the ten. Like, this is a lot of success here for whoever this is for. I want you to be well aware of this. And I feel like it's such a huge jump that um, this may have happened very fast. Like, this is a transformation of your finances. And here's the thing. They're feeling like, that. I kind of get the sense this person is feeling like a fool. Because when you were with this person, they thought that this idea was nutty. They thought that you would never be a success. They could have even put you down to other people. Because see, there's other people looking at you here like, oh, oh, that's the peasant girl you were talking about. Oh, yeah, she doesn't look like she's got anything in her basket, right? This person turned their nose up at you. Thinking you, your idea was crazy, thinking you would never accomplish anything, okay? They completely underestimated you. But here's the thing. This is the kind of person that is very egotistical. They're very arrogant. They, think that they, they may think that they're better than you. Um, they think that they're never wrong about anything, you know, you, this is somebody that's very, it's very, really hard to teach the King of Swords anything, really. Um, the, this, ha, is a te, this is a person who has a tendency to be very smart, 
but that's just it. They're so they're smart, but they're all up in their ego that they think they're never wrong. And somebody who thinks they know everything can't be taught anything new. They can't be told anything anything like they're wrong or um, or they they're incorrect or they made a mistake. They they don't want to accept that. So this person is having a really hard time accepting that they were wrong, accepting that your idea actually turned out to be a massive success, okay? And you're getting more. It's almost like spirit is blessing you with even more abundance, okay? And you're growing here. Yep, and you're moving on from them. Now they're feeling kind of dumb because they want to join you on your path. They're like, oh, well, uh, now I want to be with the collective. But they're really looking at your abundance and success. Okay, they're looking at your financial stability. Because before, they thought that you were either crazy or that you were nothing. That's how this person looked at you. Like you would always be in peasant clothing. That you would always have an empty basket. Now they're stuck in a major financial problem, okay? They don't have enough money to pay their bills. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul. The, any, anything that they were waiting for, like say this person was um, waiting to get money that somebody owed them, right? That's not coming in. There's a blockage here from the ship coming in. Say they were waiting for a pay raise. That's not going to happen for this person. Say they were waiting for a rebate to come on, you know, a broom that they bought. That's not even coming. That ship is completely blocked for them. They're not getting any more money rolling in. So they feel very stuck in this. And they're looking at you now like, um, cha-ching, you know, like you're the golden ticket. Whereas before, this person thought that, you know... Uh, they they didn't think that you'd accomplish anything. Yeah, see, now they're making this plan, okay? They're making this plan, like, I'm going to come in and tell the collective that I'm their twin flame. And so, because this is an opportunist. They want to take from you. This is somebody who comes in, takes what they want, and leaves you behind. But see, as they look back, they're looking back on this Two of Swords, Oh, geez, they haven't talked to you for at least a couple years, a couple months. How do they come back in now, right? I feel like this person's going to try to convince you they can't let you go. Um, they, uh, that they're your twin flame. They've changed. Yeah, they're going to be like, look, this person is going to be so fake, man. They're going to be talking in like twin flame lingo. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're new to tarot, um, twin flame lingo would be something like they're going to say, I'm your true soulmate. Um, I am, we're a past life soulmate connection. We, we have this connection that can't ever be broken. You know, I've learned my lessons. I've gone through a transformation. You know, um, I've, uh, I've, I've elevated, right? I've gone through a shift. I've learned my spiritual lessons. They're going to be like telling you all of this, but I feel like it's going to be fake. They're only trying, this is only part of the plan in coming back in, right? And it's literally the only thing that they've got because I feel like this person was very arrogant with you. They could have said some nasty, harsh, nasty, cold, mean things to you, okay? They could have cut you down. They could have even slandered you behind the scenes, Okay, like they're laying here trying to figure out how to get back in after everything that they've done. They're trying to make some kind of strategic plan here. Do you see this? Trying to cover all their bases. And this is the only plan they've got. But they know they, they, they feel like they've got to try something, right? Because they need your money, collective. Yeah, they're in a whole lot of regret, man, for turning their back on you. But see, here's the thing. I feel like this person, they didn't, they didn't um, have any belief in you. 
right? They, um, they didn't know what you were capable of. And now they're wanting to come back in for the wrong reasons. There is no cup in their hand, okay? All they have are, are money problems. This person is still very cold, very harsh, very much um, uh, an opportunist is what I want to say. They're an opportunist. Yeah, and you're out here having a victory. You're being divinely led. You could be a cancer. I'm feeling Virgo energy as well here. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe a Gemini. But you're moving on, man. And here's the thing. You're moving on in a golden chariot in this beautiful Empress, Emperor energy. Okay? That golden chariot, you could have upgraded to a new car. You could have upgraded to a new home. Your finances are definitely growing and upgrading as well. And this person, they didn't think very highly of you to begin with. Okay? They're wanting, they're wanting to come back in for the wrong reasons. And they're planning on um, manipulating you in order to do it. Okay? I just want you guys to be aware of that. They do, they do not have good intentions for you. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I feel like this person... Oh, they're about to be heartbroken because I feel like you're about to meet someone new. You're about to meet a king of pentacles, okay? This is someone financially stable. This is somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated to you. And that energy is coming in very, very quickly, okay? You may end up getting some kind of message or something from this person from your past, like a text message, maybe an email, something like that. They may even want to come forward and bring you some kind of gift. But um, you may be meeting this King of Pentacles before this person comes in. Because they're looking over here at this King of Pentacles like they, this person from your past, they're going to miss their chance at coming back in. And they're going to they're gonna be playing it off like they're heartbroken or something. But um, yeah, they're going to feel like a complete fool because you're about to get new love, collective. And it's a King of Pentacles like this person, this new person, they've got some, they got some money. Okay, they could be, um, they could have their own business. They could be a boss, um, kind of a big wig, okay? And I feel like you're, both of you are going to combine all of, the, all of your abundance and grow this empire. Yep, and this person's going to miss their chance. But I feel like, you know, spirit handed them love, right? The divine wanted this person to learn love, and they still haven't. I still don't see a cup in this person's hand. They didn't take it, right? They didn't. Maybe they, they knew that you loved them, but they didn't want that love. They were focused on other things or maybe issues that they had with other people in, this, in their past. This is somebody who may, maybe they didn't trust love. But now they're going to be feeling like a fool because they missed out. They had an opportunity, but they needed to um, they needed to value your love. Maybe at the time, that's all you had to offer this person. You know, you could have been in a financial struggle at the time. You know, you could have been like... Um, on your own, working really hard, trying to make ends meet, growing something new on the side, maybe a new creative project. But, you know, yeah, I, for some of you, all you had to offer this person was love at the time. And they didn't see the value in love. They didn't see the they didn't see your value at all. And now you're like this high-value individual. You always were because you were the blessing in love. But now you're making money, a lot of it, by the way it looks. You're having a lot of success. They're noticing 
they're noticing not just your shine, but the shininess of all of your money. And that's why this person feels like a fool. They missed out. If they would have, if they would have accepted love and given you love in return, right? Um, yeah, it, it's given me the whole beauty and the beast vibes, you know? That person was cursed. They had to learn how to love and be loved in return by the time the last petal fell. Otherwise, that they would still remain cursed, right? It would be permanent. I feel like now it's permanent for this person. I feel like now they're going to have a lot of money issues. They may have issues in other relationships as well in the future. Until they learn love, until they learn the value of love, this person is still going to feel like they're cursed. You know, now they're going to be working a very difficult job, not making any money. See, and this is it. They've got two pentacles here. This is the energy that they're in. Broke. And no, um, no op new opportunities coming in for them. Okay? Blockages. So in the future, this person's going to be in the three of pentacles. But if you notice, they can save two pentacles. They can keep these. But this last one, this third one, they're going to have to give to someone else. So they're always going to re really remain in the two of pentacles energy. They're always going to have money issues now because that's all that they're wanting. And that's what they judge misjudged you for. Okay? Um, so karma is hitting this person where it matters most to them. And until they learn the value of love, I don't think that's going to change for them. This is like a, this is the kind of karma that's very long lasting. They've got to learn this lesson. Until they learn what love is and the value of love, this person's going to keep having issues. They're going to keep getting tripped up. They're going to keep owing to um, a third of what they have to other people, and they're not making that much. They're going to keep um, having to work at, at jobs that are very difficult, okay? Oh, and here you, you are, look at you. If they would have valued your love and not underestimated you because of superficial materialistic reasons, they could have had a life like this. Okay, you've got some kind of stardom, popularity. I feel like money is starting to flow to you very easily. Okay, and they could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with a ten of cups, with a star. You know, but they walked away from you instead. This person is so mad. They're, I feel like they're kind of angry at you, angry at the universe, thinking this is an, an unfair judgment. But it all started with this person walking away from you for um, superficial reasons. Okay? Yeah. And I feel like here you are having this new beginning. I feel like all this person wanted was, you know, they were looking for the... The best option that would get them the farthest, okay? Or the best option that would give them the most. And if you weren't enough, I feel like they insulted you. They said some harsh things and cut you out cold. But this person didn't know that you were, you were actually everything, okay? They could have had everything with you. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, yeah. So, yeah, now they're angry with the universe. They're angry about this. Uh, but it's their fault. They walked away and let this die. And they still don't have a cup in, your, in their hand for you. They don't. Um, yeah, so judgment, the judgment call has been made. Yeah, and this is why your person is angry. They're angry at the universe um, for making this call, right? They judged you. Now they're being judged. And spirit is like, we've seen enough. We're sending someone new in for the collective. Someone who's going to 
be honorable, someone who's going to have integrity, someone who's going to choose the collective over, over everyone else, okay, and not just pass them by, right? This new person coming in, too, they've been through their own battle. This is somebody coming from a battlefield having a victory. So I feel like um, they've learned their life lessons. They've, ha they've had the same, probably the same kind of heartbreak that you've had. And now they're doing really well in life. Look, King of Pentacles, Energy, Six of Wands, this person's having a victory. All right, so this new person coming in is really more your speed, okay? Um, they're going to treat you a lot better. They're going to be honorable, loving, caring. Um, they're going to defend you. They're going to protect you. They're going to be loyal and dedicated. And this person from your past over here, they can hang on to their ego. They can keep thinking they're better than other people. You know, um, and they can have their money issues and they can end up alone feeling like a fool. You know, this is their karma. This is a judgment call that's being made by the universe. Okay. Yeah, and they're going to be taking their own kind of defeat. There, yep. Because you're getting new love, and they, they lost. It, I'm telling you, they need to learn the value of love. That's the most powerful energy of all. All right, so let's see what else we've got for you. What else can you show us? This person from your past, they could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Pisces, a Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, I feel like you're you're um, maybe clearing your energy, right? Cleansings. Um, I'm just seeing like um, maybe doing a home cleansing or cleansing your aura, taking spiritual baths. Maybe you're releasing here. That's what it feels like. You're releasing. You're getting some downloaded messages that you've got somebody new coming in. I feel like your vibrations are high. You're excited for new things. You're feeling really good here, Collective. Okay, keep those vibrations high. Keep focused on the things that you want in your life. Yeah, see, look at, there's been a huge change in you. Okay, especially with the five. Fives are about change. So it's, I feel like you've released this connection. You're clearing out the energy from this person from your past so that you can be happy in this new cycle. Um, yes, yeah, spirit's guiding you, leading you. Um, yep, and your justice is rolling in. Money's rolling in. Um, the scales are balancing in your finances, in your, uh, your, your emotions are balancing out as well. Um, I feel like Spirit's bringing you someone new. Yeah, you're going by the book and you're going in a new direction. Some of you could be um, being led to make a house move. Yeah, see, this is you releasing. Yep, this is you releasing this all this past pain. Okay, taking a, your first step into your new cycle, right? Because the new cycle is starting now. All of this money is rolling in for you. Love is coming in as well. Scales are being balanced. This is totally fair. And this masculine from your past, they may want to come back around. But, um, yeah, I feel like all they can really do is watch you succeed as you move on into your happiness. Um, calmer waters. Some unexpected things are about to happen for you as well, and you're heading straight to them. Yeah. So congratulations, Collective. Um, you're about to have a brand new King of Pentacles, so a new boo, um, possibly even a new job, a job promotion, a big pay raise, something. 
your business is looking good, your money's looking good, you're starting a new cycle in a really great energy. So, yeah, congratulations, you guys. You guys.